This is problem number 12 from the January 2015 Algebra Regents exam. In this question, we're trying to figure out how the graph of f of x equals 3 times x minus 2 squared plus 1 compares to the graph of just x squared. Now, there's two different ways of figuring this problem out. Um, if you're not familiar with the equation in the, in the form uh, a times x minus h squared plus k, if you're not familiar with that and how it works, then um, you could rely on your graphing calculator to answer this problem. Because if you use your graphing calculator, you'll notice that um, x squared looks a little like this. And then if you graph and compare um, the other one, 3 times x minus 2 squared plus 1, you'll notice that uh, the vertex moves to over here. And it's also a little bit narrower, steeper like that. Um, so you should be able to figure out the answer based on that. However, if you are familiar with the, this format of equation, where h and k represent the vertex, you should know that h is the value of it moving left or right. And because it's x minus 2, that means h equals positive 2 because um, it's being subtracted here. That means it's going to be moving 2 to the right. And the k value um, tells us if it's moving up or down. And because it's not being subtracted in this formula, if it's positive, it's going, it's going up. If it's negative, it's going down. So because up here it's plus 1, our k is positive 1, that means it's going to move 1 up. So 1 up and 2 to the right means that it's not option number 1. It could be option number two, option number three doesn't work, and it could be option number four. The difference is um, number four is that it's wider, and number two is that it's narrower. And that's how the A value affects um, how it's transformed. If A is greater than one, that means it's becoming more narrow. And if A is between zero and one, so, or, sorry, less than one, well, between 0 and 1, that means it would um, go wider. And you can also see from, if you were to graph it, that it does become more narrow. And based on that, we know that it must be option number 2. All right, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.